days back we have created a post in our uh, community tab poll and we have asked which rom you want to uh, see next on redmi 12 4g and majority of the vote got fixel 4s 14 and then the following by oxygen os 13.1 and then the evaluation x finally the origin os 3.0 well to follow this line i will be uh, first testing the uh, fixel os android 14 based one so also one of the comments suggested that instead of uh, testing only one test everything well <laughs> that's what i'm going to do so this is as a series of uh, videos which is about to come in upcoming days i don't have exact uh, estimation of uh, time arrival or something within three four days uh, gap you can expect the videos and in this first video i have installed this uh, Fixel OS Android 14 based on our Redmi 12 4G. So let's get started. So this Fixel OS is almost very very latest and which is currently running with the security patch of 5th July 2024 uh, this month and with the kernel of uh, version 5.15.94. This was uh, done by Ali Hassan 7671. So there are a few things I have to mention about this uh, particular ROM. As we know, Fixel OS, it's just a blend of uh, pure Android uh, AOSP experience with the slight amount of device specific customization. Here it is following the same. We got the pixel uh, animation and then the uh, some uh, fixer related uh, feel here and the list goes on. We have seen a lot of videos about Fixel experience and what all the things they have. But here there are few things which I have to mention about this particular OS. The first thing is the system updates. When I get into the system updates and I actually see the uh, OTA updates, whichever is going to upcoming or current one, it's showing there, which is really good sign because if the developer releases and upload it in the GitHub or something, you will see the update actually popping up in your uh, mobile and you can uh, download and you, you can use the, you can do the local update or else you can directly go to recovery and and install it well if you have any doubt about installing custom rom on this one i made uh, two videos of uh, doing it i don't want to repeat the same there are different uh, steps if you are coming from uh, miui or uh, hyper os there is a process different and if you are directly from one uh, custom rom to another the process will be a little bit same or a little bit easier so you can follow those videos also if you want to revert back to again miui i have made a dedicated video so all will be available in the redmi 12 4g playlist which you can find here or end of the video it will be popping up even it will be available in the description of this video so check it out and that is not uh, only thing also we have the network monitor indicator which is really really crucial for me and then uh, in the device specific setting we have the audio related uh, miua uh, uh, miua or uh, show me specific audio profiles but the problem is it's not uh, working as i expected i was connected to my bluetooth uh, headphone and i was checking and changing the profile it was not uh, seems to be working fine and third major uh, good thing about this one is it's really really latest security patch july uh, 2024 which is really really great and these are some of the good things about this particular os so what are all the bad things well there are a little bit good amount of bad things first of all if you take about fixel os compared to evaluation x or cr drive or whatever the Fixel OS always lacks with the feature. So if you are someone needs feature of uh, changing, coloring, multiple things, there are default coloring options are there you can do, but it is not as compared to other uh, custom ROMs. So there isn't much features. It is plain AOSP yeah with the google services and then I also tried to install BGMI and even I have provided the storage uh, option but still uh, somehow uh, bgmi was showing the uh, give the storage access i don't know uh, but there are some issues with this one so i am facing this problem first time in this rom i even uh, try to uninstall and uh, install it directly from uh, google play store but still the problem exists and then i have uh, run the safety net and safety net fails by default you can do some uh, things uh, installing super su and uh, doing some uh, things but 
I would suggest if it has the safety net by default, it would have been great. I have uh, installed the GPay and uh, other uh, HDFC or uh, Yono apps and uh, I have installed it and I opened it. It seems to be working, but still in the future it may not work as uh, the safety net is not passing by default. And then uh, the tap to wake feature. Well, I don't mostly use tap to wake feature as it is, has an inbuilt fingerprint scanner. You can just click and uh, it will open. But the tap to wake up feature, if you are turning it on, this particular camera or light sensor is uh, not at all uh, detecting the light. So even though if it is in your packet, it is still uh, opening the screen. Uh, if you are keeping it and it will call somebody and even uh, delete something. So make sure you don't turn it on by default. It, it is not uh, turned on by default. So you also don't to turn it on. Also, I forgot to mention in the video that uh, if I open the Google Photos, it is uh, sometimes getting force closed. And uh, here you see that uh, this one uh, showing only the uh, 15 GB of storage, not like uh, your pixel can store unlimited backup. So that option was not at all there in here. So this one, uh, this particular OS is being considered as normal uh, other OSs, not like a pixel OS. So yeah. So these are some of the things which I have noticed in past uh, two days and let's now talk about some benchmarks and real-time performance. Real-time performance wise I have used with multiple application and the stability is really good as compared to our uh, uh, CR drive. CR drive it is good, here also it's good. There isn't much difference. And then I have run 3D Mark and I got the score of uh, 330. After that I have uh, run the, also I have uh, tested the NetMonster and we are getting the 4G aggregation. I have able to connect with two bands simultaneously. Also camera to EAPA by enabled by default and you can install the Gcam. And I have run the Geekbench 6 and the score that I got was in the single core, I was getting 470 and the multi core is 1511. In the in the GPU uh, sector, I was getting the score around 379, which seems to be fine. Also, the battery backup wise, there isn't much issue. Uh, in my initial testing, the charging was happening in 39 minutes, 68 percentage. That is really, really great from uh, 17 to 85. And then the uh, battery performance from 85 to 50 uh, for three hours, uh, 10 minutes screen on time, it just uh, reduced by 35 percentage so you can expect seven to eight hours of uh, screen on time with this and this was uh, fully on wi-fi and uh, uh, very less in in uh, carrier uh, or mobile network so if you are using in mobile network this may be like uh, seven or uh, six and a half hours so that is what the battery backup you can expect from this overall uh, when compared to CR drive i would still suggest you just try the CR Droid when compared to feature it lacks and then the it is unofficial again. CR Droid it's somewhat official, unofficial, I don't know, but still it was working really, really great for my opinion. And BGMI storage issue, as I said, and then the uh, features like uh, this uh, double tap to wake up, it's not properly working. Other than that, this fingerprint phase unlock and uh, uh, Bluetooth audio, all the things are working fine, uh, video playback. So that isn't much uh, issue to complain about this. So if you still want to get the Fixel OS test, it's still same as uh, CR right but uh, yeah if you want to try it you can definitely uh, try this by considering these problems so in the next video we will see the next OS for our Redmi 12 4G if you want to watch previous videos of Redmi 12 4G you can watch it in here that is really good and if you want to see the CR right review which I have using as a stable ROM or as my primary for past few months you can watch it in here and finally subscribe for having the Redmi 12 4G Bye.